far this storm is not that big of a deal. Uh, actually, it's not anything at all. We've had worse rainstorms than this, haven't we? Uh -huh. Say hi, Poppy. We're talking to. We're talking to. Oh, to us. <laughs> We're talking to us. Oh, Say hi to us. To, to our. Um, to the YouTube people who want to watch us. Hi. Hi. Yeah, this is a hurricane watch party. I've been kind of tracking it for a couple of days, and it's hitting here right now. Um, and within an hour, it's supposed to be at its heaviest. You can tell and, we're really concerned about it. Oh, yeah. Around. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're it's, uh, we're so scared. So it's not a big deal. Um, I'll go back out when the wind gets really heavy and as long as it's still light and show you what it's like. But right now, this storm is. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. It's also is kind of uh, frozen. Yeah. That's sort of frozen. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Yeah. Was You're so a, clever. Was that a Disney ENF? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, we'll check in later. came down to the harbor here to see if the water was running up over the shore and it's not it's a little choppy but what's really amazing is directly behind us about 10 or 15 miles across this harbor is an area called Cape Coral and they're still experiencing the storm they're getting the back end of it and there is like major flooding all the way through that place it's Amazing, yeah, they? they're further from the storm than we are. Yeah, they're further down than we are from the Still storm. Bigger. So, but this is pretty much it, I think. Um, and I hope this audio is working. Yeah, because there's a good breeze here. Yeah. But this is pretty much it. This is Wednesday, is. July 7th. And we're leaving for Boston on Friday. And the storm is supposed to hit Boston at the same time we land. So it'll be interesting to see if we even are able to make the trip. We just can't get away from this thing. Nope. Nope. It's following us or we're following it. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for now. Your assessment of the storm now that it's Wednesday evening and everything's back to normal. Uh, we dodged another bullet. Uh, this one went around us and really didn't cause a whole lot. But it came, when it was directly across from us um, in the Gulf, it was a Hurricane 1, right? It was Hurricane, yeah. yeah. Uh, Category 1 Category hurricane. 1, yes. Yeah, and, and it did, you know, the, the weather people, I guess, do the best they can, but they kept telling us, oh, everything is going to be out of our area by midnight. Everything's yeah. going to be out of our midnight. Uh, and about 1 o'clock in the morning, The shit comes, hit the fan. Thunder, lightning. Heavy tornado wind, warnings, heavy rain, tornado warnings, all that stuff. It never really got bad, but you never know exactly if it's going to continue to escalate or not. So I was really surprised this year with their timing because they were way off. They were way By off. By midnight, this was supposed to be over and everything was back to normal. But I was up from 1.30 this morning until I'm still up. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't sleep when we've got like thunderstorms and stuff like that. Because I don't like tornadoes, and I do. I, I sleep through them. I wake up if if I hear thunder and lightning, and I assess it, and if I'm not worried about it, I go right back to sleep. So, yeah. lucky me. So anyway, at least for this leg, everything's done for us. But we're not finished with this storm yet. Are we're we? not finished with this storm. Or How come? because Friday morning we fly out of here to Boston and we're anticipated to land about the same time that this storm is scheduled to hit Boston. So, so <laughs> you know, apparently we're not done with Elsa or Elsa's not done with us. Yeah, so anyway, that's it from this end. Um, thanks for watching and everybody love each other and stay safe and we'll talk to you later. We'll keep you posted. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.